I'm going to Aldi to do some shopping because guys, I've spent way too much money on food, like fast food. I'm just gonna show y'all a screenshot of my credit card. <laughs> it's terrible. Like, I'm supposed to be saving money, but I've been spending money on food, so I got my quarter. Going to Aldi, $10 budget, a $10 budget, and I'm going to see if I can get enough food to last me enough for one person for one week with $10. So I'm just gonna get the ad, but I doubt this is gonna even help me because I got $10 to spend and yeah. Their ad is so thin. I thought I was grabbing one, I grabbed three. Okay, so I got the ad. It's not really gonna help me because like I said, I only have $10 to spend. At least that's all I'm allowing myself. The prices in here are really, really low, but I'm trying to figure out how I can do breakfast, lunch, and dinner for a week. That's seven days with $10. So it's gonna take a bit of browsing around for me to see what I would even like to eat. Oh my gosh, with $10, I think I need to start with meat because if I'm doing dinner, meat is gonna be like one of the more important things. I'm not a real big meat eater, but just to be really realistic, just to be pretty realistic for this, I'm gonna start off with meat because that's like a lot of people's concern. It's like, okay, yeah, right. How are you gonna do food for a week? and what are you gonna do for meat? That's what most people are concerned with. So yeah, let's take a look at the meat and see if there's any way this can even be possible. So I'm coming over here to the meat section. Oh my gosh. Let's see. So I'm not gonna do pork. Um, not gonna do fish well maybe depending on the price no oh my gosh it looks like i wouldn't be able to do almost anything the prices are so high is this going to be a vegetarian week <laughs> oh my gosh the ground beef is 249 a pound no way no way let's see if the chicken is any cheaper because that would take up a huge part of the whoa okay look chicken leg quarters only $3.71 for this entire pack. Can y'all see that? This is only $3.71 for this entire pack. I could totally chop this up into different meals. Yes, $3.71, I think that's gonna have to be it. That's gonna be my meat for the week because that's the cheapest meat that I see so far. And leg quarters are annoying to actually chop up, but it's a decent portion of meat and I know it could last me the week if I prepare it correctly. It would be between that and getting these drumsticks for 422 but that's just a little bit more money and if i'm talking about like eating for a week i mean this looks really good with the drumsticks because there are how many in the pack let's see one two three four five there's ten there are ten drumsticks in that pack i don't know that's sounding kind of good and then down here for the leg quarters though oh wait hold on these drumsticks whoa this is a bigger pack whoa these are bigger for $4.96 this one is $4.96 this one is $5.85 that's too much money oh down here check it out these um chicken thighs are these chicken thighs are $3.80 sold because there's one two three four five six seven eight nine there are nine in there this is it that's what I'm getting three dollars and eighty cents I don't see a cheaper one that's looking like it's it and I don't really do too much with the chicken skin but yeah I can take the skin off easy yeah this is definitely it this is so the foundation for everything so now I'm thinking about breakfast and I'm over here with the breakfast stuff and I'm like okay so for breakfast we have a couple options for breakfast a really good thing that could stretch is oatmeal and the oatmeal over here is like a dollar 49 that's the cheapest one that I'm seeing a dollar 49 and they have some for 169 if I keep looking maybe I'll find some cheaper but that seems like that's pretty much as cheap as it gets so you could easily just have a bowl of oatmeal every morning and this comes with 10 in a pack for 149 or 169 so you get 10 in a pack one pack of oatmeal each morning for a week you should be good to go for 149 I'm thinking about doing that I also kind of like the idea of grits and eggs 129 for this big pack of instant grits it says it cooks in five minutes and it's only 129 so I'm kind of liking that too 
um, I would get those for $129 and then get like a carton of eggs and we have to go and see how much the eggs cost in this store. So that's something I'm thinking about doing. So options, um, pancake mix, if they have a pancake mix that's kind of like just add water. So I would want to see this one. Oh, this one says just add water. So yeah, this would be a good one because all I would have to do is just kind of add some water and it costs $1.55. So yeah, for only $1.55, you can add water and you can eat as much as you want with pancakes. And the good thing about pancakes is that this could be um, breakfast or dinner because pancakes make a great dinner. It's just like a, something bready um, and thick, so you can always use it as a bread. So options and decisions, I'm trying to think of what's the most um, economical and then what's the most filling option. And then they have these toaster pastries for only $1.49 too. So you get 12 pastries in there for $149. So there are some really good breakfast options. Unfortunately, on a $10 budget, I'm only gonna be able to get one of them. And my heart kind of leans towards the pancakes. But um, with the pancakes, like I was saying, um, I'm gonna need some syrup or maybe like jelly or even just like a little bit of peanut butter. I mean, but I don't think anyone would be super satisfied with dry pancakes. So. This is definitely something to consider. So I'm gonna go and price the eggs and that'll help me make my decision because I really, I like eggs and I think that would be really good for breakfast, grits and eggs. I'm Southern, so I like grits and eggs, but it's gonna ultimately come down to what's the most affordable decision that will last me all week and what could I actually get that would allow me to, yeah, have a decent breakfast every day for a week without, going over my $10 budget. So in this store, it's looking like the eggs are $1.07. Let me get closer and see how much these eggs are. Yeah, they're $1.07 in this store. I know some cities have cheaper eggs, but these are $1.07. Large eggs, grade A. And so, yeah, large eggs for $1.07. So that's not a bad price, but it just, it's like, do I get the pancakes? Do I get the toaster pastries? grits and eggs or oatmeal. So we're walking over to the jelly to kind of see how much it is because maybe we would have like pancakes and jelly because we used to have that when we were kids, remember? Yeah. So like, um, like pancakes and jelly or pancakes with some peanut butter. And another thing I'm seeing while I'm over here, these little um, fruit bowls or jello cups, these also make great breakfasts and um, they also have things like honey buns if you want to do like something like a honey bun in the morning with like a glass of milk or Maybe one of these Pastries, but there are only six in here. So you would be out of breakfast on another day So I mean something to consider if you wanted something sweet if you are willing to just like forego the pancake altogether And just do like a honey bun Like I think we have some really good breakfast options because I would totally do a honey bun and a banana and call it a day yeah. I mean, when you're on a budget, you can't sit there and say, oh, I want the most nutritious breakfast ever. Um, you can get as close as possible. And that's just the reality of it when you're on a budget. I know a lot of people will say, I don't know, like you can't eat that. You should have something more nutritious. I mean, we'll tell that to your big budget. You know, like people with a small budget, there's not many options. So right now on a $10 budget, which is the reality for a ton of people, I've been there before, where my reality was like less than $20 scraping by all the time. So I totally get it. So the jelly is $129. If we did pancakes for $155 and then jelly for $129, that's not bad if you're into pancakes and jelly. But then the syrup is also $129. So you could just do syrup because it's the same price. Yeah. So we're over here at the bananas and they're 44 cents a pound, which is a pretty decent price. I mean, it just all comes down to how much they weigh. So now we're just gonna like try and weigh some bananas. I'm just gonna weigh these three. I don't know why, because of course, we're gonna want more than three bananas if it's for breakfast, but it's just a little bit over a pound. So it's 44 cents a pound. So this is like, these three bananas are just like 50 cents worth, which is amazing. That's amazing. So if we just kind of double this, um, there's like seven bananas on this one. So let's kind of, put that in there that's seven bananas and it's over it's like two and a half pounds so that would be like around a dollar like a little bit over a dollar because two pounds is like 88 cents and then that's like two and a half pounds so this is not bad I'm really thinking that 
bananas would be a really great addition to breakfast so now we have tons of breakfast options now i think we're just at the point where we really need to decide the only thing we've been solid on so far is the chicken <laughs> and for breakfast there's just too many decisions and breakfast is an important meal so while we actually deliberate on breakfast like our breakfast ideas our breakfast plans we're going to start on the lunch plan right here 79 cents for this bread this is a whole loaf of bread for 79 cents so i'm i'm loving that price 79 cents this is going to be lunch for lunch we're going to get um, a loaf of bread for 79 cents they have some other varieties if you're into other styles of bread they have some for 95 cents and 99 cents um oh, yeah i mean they have some they have wheat bread too um for under a dollar toast oh my gosh yes if you get the loaf of bread it can double as toast for breakfast oh my gosh you can get the bananas is there enough in the loaf for breakfast and lunch though because you can totally do toast you can do toast with the bread oh my gosh we got to talk this thing through that was good Tiffany because if you get the jelly if you get the jelly you can do toast with a little jelly on it and then you can also do the grilled cheese that we're planning on doing for lunch let's see how much the cheese costs that's going to put us in a whole nother realm hopefully the cheese is not super expensive guys ten dollars it's really giving me a lot to think about. Um, all the money that I've been spending on chilies, like I pretty much go to chilies every day for lunch because they have that three for 10 thing, but that's pathetic and I need to stop. So <laughs> it's addictive. I go like almost every day to chilies and get the three for 10 for lunch because it's so easy. You get chips and salsa and then you get to pick like a sandwich or something and it's just terrible and a soup and I do it every day. And when I go, she goes, and then we're both spending money, and it's ridiculous. So, what's the cheapest cheese that we can find that looks like it's a good grade of cheese? Um, they have Happy Farms for one forty-five, and then this the Swiss, also one forty-five. Yeah. Um, these are the these are the most affordable ones that I see. Get fancy if you get the Swiss cheese. Yeah, I'm liking these because these are the most reasonably priced. Well, considering our budget, I think all of it is reasonable. I think all of it is reasonably priced, but we don't really have a budget <laughs> for more. Okay, let's do the cheese because we need grilled cheese sandwiches every day for lunch. American, so that's, you know, like take a pick of whichever one is 145. Like standard standards. yeah and then hey if we get grits you can put cheese on your grits oh, yeah. and if I we do breakfast toast them. you can do cheese on your breakfast yeah. toast if you're filling it in the morning or eggs if you do eggs you can do cheese I'm eggs hungry. how many slices coming there's 16 slices and this only needs to last us a week so you can totally do cheese in your eggs cheese in your grits or cheese on your toast if you're doing that or you can do like yeah. there's a lot of options we're using it for grilled cheese sandwiches though so we have lunch done, grilled cheese sandwiches. Whoop, whoop. I like grilled cheese, so I can totally eat that for a week. And then for dinner, we still just have the chicken, but we're over here by the mac and cheese. It's only 33 cents, y'all, 33 cents. And the servings, you get at least, at least three servings per container. So, I mean, for a week, you would just need two, two boxes for the week or maybe like three, but three would be going over. So it's totally your choice. I'm gonna go with two boxes so that I can stay in a $10 budget and I can make that work for a week. Seeing as how you get a decent amount of servings per box. So that's pretty good. Now it does kind of say that you might need milk and butter, but that's kind of a staple that most people have in their house anyway, like milk and butter. So I'm pretty sure most people have milk and butter. If you don't, y'all, I gotta just tell y'all the truth. I have been in the place before in my life where I didn't have milk and butter and I just used water and made it work. Sometimes it just is that way. You have to do what you have to do. And I don't know, we might have a lot of bougie people in the comments who pretend like their life has always been perfect. But when hard times hit, you have to do what you have to do. So this is my budget. My budget is $10. And you know how when you have a budget, you can't go out of it. So that's that. Um, yeah, I still need to get breakfast. So lunch is done. We're gonna be having grilled cheese sandwiches for lunch. And for dinner, we're gonna be having mac and cheese and chicken. And now we need to get breakfast out of the way for $10. It's really a challenge. It's really a challenge, but I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm determined to make this work. 
so we're back over here with the breakfast stuff after thinking it through we kind of decided like in order to just be more versatile with the breakfast i mean there's some things we thought about i mean there were a lot of options that we thought about like for instance the bread since it's only 79 cents if you were to get syrup and eggs you could make french toast and that would just really stretch your breakfast and lunch options with a loaf of bread because there's 22 slices in that loaf so you have enough for lunch and you have enough to be versatile with breakfast um another thing we thought about like with the lunch we're having grilled cheese sandwiches but what else were we going to put with it we wanted to put chips with it but all of the chips were like one how much were the chips like one 119 so that kind of i mean it wasn't putting us too far over budget but at the same time it's chips and it wasn't giving us so many options with all of the carbs that are already in the bread we just wanted to do something different so we came over here to the chewy bars they're only 115 and you get let's see you get 10 bars so if you have a day where you're a little bit more hungry than another day you know there's seven days in a week this is supposed to last us seven days but um there's 10 bars so if you're a little bit more hungry one day you know and you're rationing out those bars for lunch you can always maybe use another one as a snack so this is our lunch grilled cheese sandwiches and chewy bars and so that's going to be lunch and if you're on a ten dollar budget that is golden you're not eating noodles you have a full lunch and for dinner we're still right here with the chicken and the mac and cheese now for breakfast we were saying okay maybe chewy bars can also be great for breakfast they can double it as a breakfast item so if you don't get full at breakfast they're only 115 they're 10 bars um ration them out and try not to go overboard for breakfast though after careful careful deliberating i mean we have been really trying to figure this out because this is tough we decided to go with a dozen of eggs so we're going to get a dozen of eggs and then whatever is left over we're going to spend it on bananas because you can have you know with your eggs let's start with what you can do with the eggs with the eggs you can um you can totally can you get a carton of eggs please sure. thanks with the eggs you can totally um make an egg sandwich because like i said there are 22 slices in here and remember we only need sandwiches for you know every day of the week so that's 14 slices for our sandwiches but with the rest of the slices let's say you want to make an egg sandwich for breakfast and so you know you cook an egg or two you make an egg sandwich or let's say with your eggs you want it to um have eggs and toast you could do that too you can make two eggs and have some toast so you have a lot of options. I thought the eggs just provided more options. If you're feeling it, you can crack an egg, get the bread together and make French toast that day if you already have syrup at home. So that's another option. Or you might even just have jelly. You might wanna make some French toast. Um, if you have just some jelly or something, you can put it on there or some syrup. And we're also going to use whatever change we have left. I think we only have enough money left now for like a pound of bananas, which might not be a lot of bananas, in general but at the same time i think it's enough for us to maybe eat some with our breakfast or switch it up for breakfast if we want to have one of our chewy bars with a banana on the way out the door so as long as you plan your days and plan your breakfast we can totally make this work now let's get a pound of bananas and go to the register and um just make sure that we didn't go over the ten dollars oh my gosh please let it oh okay so that's two bananas and it's not even a pound okay i have hope now i thought like <laughs> i thought i was gonna hit like a pound like so quickly um let's see i put another banana in there okay so three bananas put me right at around a pound and so three bananas there's seven days in the week so we can split up the bananas or some days i might want one some days i might not some days i might have a chewy bar and a banana for breakfast save some of the eggs who knows but oh and another thing about getting the eggs, you can put cheese in your eggs too. Oh, yeah. So that's, yeah, that stretches it too. So that's totally another option. So it just really gives some great options. As long as you kind of like ration it out, I think we'll be good. Let's go check out and see how much we spent. So we're walking to the register guys and we see that these cornflakes are only 109 and this is a big box. And it has a lot of servings in here too. It says 12 servings per container. That's a lot of servings. We could totally have done cornflakes and bananas. Mm -hmm. That would have been a good one. But we're going to stick with the egg, They're right? The eggs are two cents less. And there's more options you can do with eggs. You can make French toast. 
with the eggs you can put cheese in the eggs there's just more ways you can use the eggs because if we get the cereal who knows if we have milk right yeah. that's a whole nother dynamic we're not going to be eating dry cornflakes with bananas so yeah i think we did good yep going to the line committing yep we're committing So this is the final shot of everything that we got y'all it came out to 941 i'm really really excited about that nine dollars and 41 cents for all of this that leaves us with a little bit over 50 cents that we can totally go spend we can get like another box of mac and cheese if we wanted to and kind of just add that in and then we could have mac and cheese for lunch so this is like a one person haul so i'm doing this then tiffany will go back and do it with her ten dollars since we have a solid plan so she'll have ten dollars worth of the same stuff to eat at her house and she will be doing the same challenge as me and then i'll be doing this too at least we kind of just experimented together to see if ten dollars if you could eat for a week and we're definitely going to try it we're actually going to go and try to um make some of this but i wanted to show y'all i wanted to show y'all the receipt this is what happened the bananas came out cheaper yeah the bananas just came out cheaper than we thought they would be so it was a really good deal on the bananas i'm i'm really excited about this OCC gang, stop sleeping on Aldi. Give the store a chance. Aldi, I know some of y'all say Aldi, whatever. Just give the store a chance. They have some really good deals. I'm happy with what we got. Hey y'all, we kind of rich now. We only spent 941. If we wanted to go back in and get one of those fancy bags, we could. Those fancy oh, yeah. Aldi and 10 cent bags. It. And we can reuse it. Only some something said 10 cents over there. These say 95 cents, but there's some that say 10 cents and seven cents. The paper bags are seven cents. I think, yeah. Yeah, they have cheap options. Yeah, but we don't wanna do plastic. We'll take the food out like it is because we wanted to start doing reusable. So we just have to wait until we're balling again to pay 95 cents for the reusable bags. That's it for this video, OCC gang, I'm out.